the first thing we need, if we want to do create, read, update, delete, is we need to have a form that could submit information. So that's going to be on our index. And we could just put it like, I don't know, I guess beneath bond. And we're going to have a form. And the action, what's the action tell us, people? Where it gets submitted, right? So where do I want it to be submitted? I don't know, like process. That sound good? So in my go, I'm going to have a route process. Whoops. I'm going to, I don't know, this, this could be, we'll make this one read, this one read, and this one's going to be create, and it goes to process, and uh, come down here, and we'll do font create, no, yeah, font create, and it needs hp.responseWriter, and it needs pointer to hp.request. And now what do we want to do when stuff comes in? Well, let's finish filling this out. Is there anything else we want in here? Any other attributes we want in these elements? Lots of choices there. What is, uh, what is one that you usually see with forms? Method. I like it. What's method going to be? Get or post? Does it matter? What's the difference? Post is in the payload. Get through the URL. Post, post I kind of think about is the form background. Four letters in post, four letters in form. Get is in the URL. Three letters in get, three letters URL. I like that. And so now we need some inputs, right? Text. Do we want a label? What are the labels? What's the HTML element? Is a label for first name ID first name and then what else do we need in this input? Why did I do that? So I want to show you that for the label, right, the for attaches to the ID. IDs are kind of like for targeting elements on the DOM, whether through CSS, JavaScript, or here in this case, label. And the name is the variable we're naming. It's the name of the variable in which the data that's sent will be stored. So these are two different. Most time people make them the same, which is fine. I want you to see the difference. And then what else do we need? Right? That's it. Is that good? I think that's good. So we got this. Right here. Now we're going to do if HTTP.method Sorry, if request.method is not equal to hp.method uh, post, right? So if we don't have our method post coming in, hp.redirect dot dot URL and code. So we will go to here, and the code will be HTTP dot, what do you want it to be? To redirect, 
Let's go look at the redirect codes. I don't know if I'm going to keep that. So move permanently. See other. Temporary redirect. Do you remember what the differences were? So we have in our code base redirect and this little HTML file reveal and finder. Three of ones move permanently. The browser will never ever go back to the server when the client on the browser tries to go to that URL, the browser will just redirect wherever the server said last time. We don't want that. 302 is going to be, tells the browser the resource has changed temporarily, but get and put post, people confuse those, so they created 303, which is always going to change the verb to get, the method to get. And then we've got temporary redirect, which keeps the verb. So do we need to keep post, or do we just, if it's get, it's get, right? If you got, if you got here, if you got here, then you didn't have post. You're already get. So I guess we just want to reinforce that it's get, and we're always going to use get. So that's going to, we're going to do a 302. And so that's 302 found. So that's just putting the number 302 there. And then I need to do what? Return to leave that function. I'm done. I'm just guessing. Is that right? Does that look right? Otherwise, the code's going to keep going, right? Through the rest of the function. I got to say, I'm out of here. Ching, return. So. You got method post, welcome. Now we gotta grab the variable. So we're gonna have fn colon equals, and it's gonna be on the request, and it's going to be, I don't know, form value. And there's a key. We could go read about form value. Form value returns the first value for the name component of the query. Post and put body parameters take precedence over URL query, query, URL query string values. Form values calls port parse multi-part form. If necessary, whatever that means. If key is not present, form value returns the empty string, which means we gotta provide this key, which is a string, and it returns a string. So I think we're good. I think we are going to get that out of there, get that out of there, get that out of there. And we need this. And that's going to be the variable we want to get the value from. I want to do that after looking at JavaScript. <laughs> but we don't do that. So we got, we got our form variable. What do we do with it now? We stick it in our database, right? Can we confirm we have our form variable before we move on? There we go. And then we could do HTTP redirect. And this will automatically return because we're done. So let's run it and just see if our form actually submits. Well, we got James, we got Jenny. I don't know, right? Like Money Penny and Bond, that's it. Except for Q and M. I guess we'll do M. Miss M, whatever her name is, Smith. So we got Miss M. That's good. So we got our value, and then we got redirected, so that's all working. So now all we have to do is figure out how do we stick that value into the database. And we've been able to do the create. We've created. We'll do that in the next video. i got to take these in steps. <laughs>